What's up, YouTube? <clears throat> um, I'm today. I'm doing a video on my Traxxas Max. Uh, the upgrade that I put uh, as far as the wide kit wasn't a good idea because I soon came to find out that I also needed drive shafts. Um, I figured, you know, as a newbie, I would be okay. Looks good. Looks cool. And I won't uh, roll over when I'm taking sharp turns. Uh, all of that came into effect. That's exactly what I wanted it for. However, I went and damaged all my drive shafts. Uh, I'll show you real quick what I'm talking about. That right there, or, or I don't know if you can see with the light, but as you can see, it's twisted on all of them pretty much. And except for this one right here, but this is not the first time this happens to me This is the second time it happens to me at first. I knew that I needed to get the upgrades However, uh, they were on back order the shafts the drive shafts the metal ones. So I went and I got me uh, replacement ones regular ones and the first time when I when I did the wide kit on it, um, the way I came to find out how they broke was because I went to self-correct myself. I was upside down, pressed the button, so there's a little bit of turn, and boom, you're back on your fours. Uh, when I did that, they all broke at the same time. I was like, what? Yeah, all of them broke at the same time, believe it or not. And so I stopped, I reframed myself from actually, I, you know, every time I was upside down, I'll just go up and fix myself. So I stopped using that button. Um, however, it was still too strong. The shafts are still short in the inside and that much torque I, uh, on coming out of this 4S motor still bends it. So I went out and I got me a pair of these. Now these you can get uh, online uh, from the actual website. Um, I got these in my local hobby shop and they ran me about 100 bucks 100 and some change and i'm going to actually change them now that's what we're doing to this max right here um this is my unbreakable max uh as you can see i got the roll cage on this thing this thing is tough roll cage i'm telling you guys if you are a straight basher and you love the traxxas max um get this for the life of me this thing is equipped with a roll bar in the back i mean a ready bar and it connects to your bumper completely all the way with the screws that came um it goes further down as well as far as protecting the bottom of it uh, i'm not so sure how you could get in there but still it's a good idea um this is some kind of material i'm not too sure nylon some kind of nylon or something like that it's it looks flimsy, but trust me, I put this thing through tests after tests after tests. And every test I put it through, I was amazed. I was amazed at the fact that it did what it's meant to do. Like, it really, this, before I got this one, I, I had my third LED bar and I wasn't installing it until I got this roll cage. When I got this roll cage, I installed it. I purposely did front wheelies and everything and that thing held up to its name. Another plus about this roll cage. Now I, I know I could I could tell you and that stuff it didn't scratch it or whatnot. This thing really did its job and you might not believe me until you get one of these roll cages. Okay, a lot of people spend money and time getting these clear bodies and doing the custom paint jobs and they really just have it as a shelf queen. They don't want to take it out, understandable, you know, but if, if you got a nice body and you want to flaunt it out in the streets, get this roll cage. It will protect it. Want to know why? Look at that body. It's dirt. I will clean it for you and show you that's just dirt. There's no scratches on this thing whatsoever. Going all the way around. That roll cage really does what it's supposed to do. I mean, apart from maybe it getting uh, the dent right here, the, your usual dent that you get on your regular bodies that you know come with the Max, uh, when you take a real big bash, these get broken in the inside. Um, there are ways to make the body more undestructible as far as putting drywall tape and shoe goo, everybody knows that trick. But if you're gonna rock a clear body, it defeats the purpose. 
<clears throat> so that's where this thing comes in it completely like i said front and back bumper it attaches to it attaches underneath there somewhere and it's it that's what it lets it's able to do that that's the reason why it does that it's connected right there now like i said this thing is a must i don't know if they make it for the x max i do know that they make it for the big rock i want to say or something else they have it online i'll put the description down below if you guys are interested in getting it um now i'm just gonna work on taking all of this apart um installing these at the same time i might just go ahead and clean it up a little it's a little dirty took it out bashing with my son the other day and yeah put it as clean as i put this one over here uh yeah this is the armor crate and exb 6s however i don't have it as 6s i have it on 8s um i got the spectrum on there the 1250 kv spectrum servo spectrum esc and spectrum receiver um this thing's a bad boy everything on there that looks good is good exb and armor uh horizon hobby is doing their thing they made this thing completely bashable um i'll get to that i'll make another video on that later because uh 8s i believe is way too much power for this thing for you to get the most fun out of um i i had my 8s electronic system that you see there on my limitless and my limitless cranked up to like about I want to say more than 100 miles an hour if I didn't crash and bend the chassis and break everything I would have probably topped out like maybe at 120 130 uh, maybe the difference are uh, still is lower it's got uh, I don't want to say a wider shorter uh, wheelbase and the tires of course and of course those things are meant to go fast faster than these because these are bashers but too much power I think because you can see right there I'm getting the, those marks. I believe it's bumping into my lower suspension arm. And that's because it's going too fast. It's not holding itself down. So that's probably because I have way too much of a big um, electronic system here. I got the 160 ESC from Spectrum, from Firma, and the 12, uh, 1250 KV motor. Maybe I'll just crank it down gear ratio wise. But I did put the recommended pin and we'll just see what happens after that um if you enjoyed my video hit the like button uh future videos that i make when i'm doing stuff like this or when i'm uh buying stuff like that you can head and subscribe and i hope you like my video guys stay tuned